<laughs> so, Kristen, you're going to show us actually how to put on eyelashes, false eyelashes? Well, this is the way I put on false eyelashes. And my favorite ones are the S47 Black. Okay. So when you grab the package, you're going to kind of bend it. And all the packages are pretty much the same. And then when you bend it, you're going to grab from the left to the right and gently pull the lashes off. And you want to do this to where you don't rip the lashes or do anything. So bend the other one, and then you're going to grab it and pull it off gently. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your lashes, and you're going to keep bending them. Because you want them to form to your eye very easily. And so you're going to bend it. And then you're going to make sure that the very corner inside is bent. So you can tell by looking at it, this is your le left lash, because it gets smaller on this side and larger on this side. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure now to see where we're going to cut it. So you're going to take it, and you're going to place it over your eye, and look to see if you have any length left over. And there is. So what you're going to do is you, you want to keep the long, lustrous part. So you're going to take your scissors, And you're just going to cut a little bit on the very end, right there. Just cut it off at the end. Then you're going to put your glue, if you're like me, on your hand. <laughs> Why do you put it on your hand? Well, I put it on my hand because it's easy. Like when I do makeup and everything I do, I use my hand as a palette. Okay. So like if, you know, whatever else you're doing before you get ready, you just wash your hand at the end and you're done. So before you start, you actually make sure your hands are clean. Yeah, that's probably good. <laughs> that's <all> good. <laughs> <laughs> and then simply take the lash and you're going to drag it through the glue. And you want to make sure there's not a lot of excess like there is right there. So just kind of wipe it off. Now why... Do you wiggle it back and forth? Well, I'm still molding it. This is without cutting the lash. I'm going to do the left one without cutting it and the right one with cutting it. It really keeps it to where it's going to form to your eye. Because otherwise, if you don't keep wiggling it and get it bent, it's going to go straight across. It's not going to look very good. And this will be the easiest way. And you want to look at it. Is it all the way bent? And it pretty much is. So then you're simply going to start at your inside corner and make sure that that part is on there and push it in a little bit and then do your outside corner touch it there then you can take the end of your brush simply push it down gosh you make it look so easy and just keep pushing and the whole thing is, is to get it as close, so what you may want to do is lift your lid and push. And just keep pushing until you have it perfectly on. And it looks pretty good. Almost. And this is your left eye. What you're going to do is you're going to take your brush and you're going to get some mascara on there as much or as little as you want, depending on the look you're going for. And I notice we'll... how you're putting the mascara on that brush. Yes. You actually stick the wand out and then tap it with the brush versus the other way around. Well, I mean, this is just... <laughs> is it, no, is there, is there a, but a if reason you're for actually, doing it if you're do, if you're a makeup artist and you're doing it, you're going to take the, the um, brush and put it on your hand or wherever because you don't want to have the brush touching the wand, but if it's just your mascara, it's okay. Then you're going to, if you have this tool, take this tool and place it over your lid and you're going to pull your eyeball back to just your lid, just back a little bit. And then you can see how it's perfectly on there. So you're going to take your brush and you're actually going to paint it with your angled brush going this way. Paint. So these, the lash and your real lashes stick together. And you're going to do the same a little bit on the top. And you can even paint a little bit on the bottom. Oh, you've been using very, the very lashes. easy. That was really easy. So then if you have difficulty putting on lashes or you want a really, really natural look with fake lashes, 
what I always do, and this is actually just a better way all the way around to put on lashes. But if you're in a hurry, you know how it goes. But if you have an extra 30 seconds, what you're going to do is take your lash and just visually divide it into three places. So you're going to cut once here and place it to the side. I'm going to cut once here and place it to the side. So then that's going to leave you, this is the inside part, so you want to pay attention when you cut it that you're actually keeping the three pieces to go where you need to put them on your right eye. So you know that this is the inside corner. So you're going to take your tweezers. Okay, so you're going to take your first area, which is your inside corner, and you're going to really lightly drag it through the glue. You just barely want any glue on there. Looks like my duo glue is a little bit old. You just have to replace your duo glue. It gets old after about six months. So you're going to go to the middle of the eye. And you really, if you look at it and it's straight like how it is now, just kind of give it a little pinch, pinch, <laughs> and then make it just so it has a little bit of a curve before you attach it. And then flatten it down a little bit. And it's perfect. You're going to take your next piece, your middle piece. You need a little bit more glue. Glue's drying out. Why are you doing that? Okay, go ahead. You want to give it a little bit of a curve before you put it on. You're going to drag it through your glue very lightly. So you're ready to put on the next piece. So you're going to go right next to where you did the first one and place it. And that one went on perfectly. And do the same thing with your last piece. And this is your third piece. You want to make sure you kind of overlap it a little bit on the end so there's nothing showing. And just really look at the curve of your eye and make sure it looks as natural as possible and it's as close to your other lashes as possible. And then I might give it a little bit of a trim because it looks a little weird right here. Just cut it a little bit. Always better to cut a little bit than cut too much. And then go ahead and do the same thing with your mascara. And you're going to hold your tool here and see how even it is. It doesn't even look like you have three sections on. But it actually looks a lot better than the left eye, if you can tell the difference. It just fits a little bit better to the eye. Wow, look at that. Yeah. That's amazing. So we're looking before we were looking at it in a reflection. So point to each eye and then let us know which technique you used. Um, this eye was dividing the lash into three sections and keeping it really bent and putting it on. And this lash was just putting the strip on the whole thing all at the same time. They both look really good, though. Yay! I know. If we so could now all... you can do it at home <laughs> with lots of practice. Definitely. So, Christine, thank you very much. And, of course, if they have questions, they can always go to your website. And it's PlatinumImageServices.com.